what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back into my channel my name is creepers and i'm here today with another video of paladins and in this video i'm going to be going through the patch notes for the update 1.1 coming to paladins this was actually on the website of paladins and we're going to be looking really fast into the things they have here because unfortunately there is a gameplay of the new event which i may leave a link in the description where you see Maeve playing on the the so-called new map in its event but we're gonna be going through this part over here because this way you can actually get a little bit of a glimpse of what I'm actually reading uh, before I just start I just want to point something out in case nobody noticed Furia has this little you know this uh, little blonde hair kind of thing this is what belonged to her sister which now is Ceres okay for those who don't know the, the, and the lower you could see that she was the the magistrate cut it off her hair and this belongs to Ceres. Now she cut it as a memory and it's you know it's always uh, strapped to her hair I believe. So let's go through this. First thing that we want to know is everything about our new champion. Which pretty much I already said before, but even so, let's go here through the things. As for a weapon, it says that it deals always 330 damage every 0.5 seconds in a medium spread. But I thought that actually would increase the damage, but it says here that it increases the attack speed. This may be wrong, this may be correct, or maybe we understood things wrongly. I, I'm not entirely sure. I do know that she takes, she has 2200 health and it also as i said before there was this little meter if it starts to decay you just have to heal allies and it goes back up basically healing people will increase uh, your attack speed apparently this may be wrong i'm not entirely sure let's continue then her healing ability will heal for a base 1000 and then 500 over two seconds so i remember saying this in the video apparently i am correct i just didn't mention the 500 but here it is then we got her fire strike, which I was always calling the light beam, which I apologize for that. Basically what it does, it's a beam that, you know, travels forward really fast. Enemies caught in its path are stunned for one second and take an instant 400 damage along with 20 damage over 0.05 seconds. They remain as, as long as they remain inside of the beam. So. Pretty much this is really powerful. I think they're gonna have to nerf this, but it's okay. Um, as for her saving ability, propel yourself backward with fire three attacks and seek out enemies dealing 200 damage each. That was pretty much simple. Uh, the ultimate, it's sort of what I said. For two seconds, you're completely on target. And afterward, you and your allies, uh, after these two seconds, uh, around until 150 feet, of you gain 30% bonus damage and 30% movement speed for 8 seconds. Now let's go into your talents. Uh, the first one, actually I was just missing one little part that it, you can heal up 50% additional with her healing ability as depending on the missing health of your of your allies. I didn't I didn't write that so I'm apologizing it's just right now in events. Now we're gonna go here celerity Wings of Wrath gains an additional charge. This is the escaping ability, which is the part that I said you would get a second charge for her escaping ability. The one that heals with the, the power strike, it's the same. Now stops on a, and heals allies that passes through for 300 health every 0.05 seconds. This is going to be really powerful, to be honest. They're going to have to nerf this, okay? I don't know, but this seems to me the, the strongest of all of this. I, I, let's see, let's see. I'm not entirely sure, but even so. As for our, our cards, there is a bunch of cards here. I can tell you that there are these cards. For example, uh, this card, Healing an Ally with Kendall Soul, also heals you for X amount health over three seconds. So this is the only way of getting heals back. This one, and I believe it's around here. Uh, the, the Fire Siphon card, called uh, Successfully Wings of Wrath attacks, heal you for X amount. So, each one of the three attacks will heal you for an amount of, dependently of the cards you put. But if you guys want to see the entire set of cards, you should definitely go. The link is going to be in the description, okay? 
Now let's go here into the event. Apparently the event is basically you guys are gonna have to climb. You start with two teams side by side. You'll start around here. You side side by side. You go. There is a very big path just to go up. The abyss is also climb. It's like a sea of the abyss that goes up. And if you get caught, well, pretty much you you're forced to go into another checkpoint or the the the, the latest checkpoint. I'm not entirely sure how it works. The gameplay is gonna be in the description. Go check it out. Um, although I think it's not 100% accurate because it's already had it's some changes. Okay, but basically you race against the other team. You can't kill anybody. You're side by side, but you can't kill anybody. And you have to catch certain boosts that I mentioned before in certain places. The first, uh, the first of each team that gets it it gives a boost to the entire team so you better have to move also the characters are the exact same for both teams and you don't get to choose them they are completely given randomly i know that maven moji may be there but i'm not entirely sure i also saw cassie and as for the rest i didn't notice but you guys should definitely check it out okay as for the abyssal charts for every kill your team earns at the top when you get to the top because you're gonna start as soon as you get on the top there's sort of a crystal you have to destroy this crystal and after you destroy the crystal you go inside you're gonna have to fight a team that match but instead of killing 40 you have to kill only 30 and for each kill your team earns at the top you will gain an abyssal chart so you can get up to 30 if your team wins but if your team doesn't win then did it just do like 15 you get 15 still so pretty much a lot of people should definitely get this and there's a lot of other information here that i'm gonna have to talk about because probably a lot of people don't know um the music team apparently is for the menu just like i mentioned and you're gonna be able to keep the music forever and actually go into the loadout on the profile to change it and put it there then as for the event details the champions players are assigned a random champion to race up the, sp the sphere that's what I mentioned. Both teams are comprised, comprised F of the same champion. So basically, they're saying same champions for both sides, and you don't get to choose anything. It's completely random. So that's exactly what I said. Also, they will increase the movement speed and the jumping speed. Falling into the abyss will reset you to the lowest current checkpoint. Uh, Pyre's blessing are placed throughout the climb, which are the boosts, providing ultimate charge to the team who can grab them first. So we know this, there's a crystal on top, you destroy, you get in, and that's good. And the first team to get 30 kills wins. Now let's go over here. The event quests. Call of the Abyss. Collect 100 Abyss shards, Abyssal shards, and the reward is a gold chest. The pirate's chosen is 200 shards, and you get a diamond chest. So pretty much, if you manage to win every single game, you'll have to win about 7 games to get this seven games okay if you win if you win every single game of course as for the event store apparently it only works after you unlock after you buy one of the event bundles so um you should also know that each event bundle is gonna cost 400 crystals which i did not know and yeah 400 crystals you have to unlock at least one of them to access the the event store even if you are collecting a vessel charts and the event to get these things, you must buy one of the bundles, okay? That's all for that. Uh, these are the things that are there. I already mentioned what they were. They were the roaming emotes and etc. Also the, 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 the Vine Cyrus. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. And then we have here what I was talking about, which is the bundles, okay? Uh, this is what you get if you buy all three bundles, the, the Drogos, the Drogos MVP pose, a death stamp, the title, the demon, and 1000 abyssals charts. Then you have the three bundles as you see here, 400 crystals, 400 crystals, 400 crystals. So yeah, each one of them is 400 crystals, definitely. Uh, as for changes, uh, there's now gold skins. In our continued effort to produce higher quality content, we're making a chance for our mastery skins, starting with Fury. New champion will no longer receive single texture obsidian or cosmic skins, but instead higher quality custom golden skins. Golden skins will be unlocked at champion master level 50, and are paired with a champion golden weapon. We will be working towards making golden skins for all champions. 
So, as for now, we're gonna have a gold skin for Furia at level 50. I'm betting a lot of people is gonna put her at a level 50 immediately, just so they can have the gold skin. I'm trying to imagine how that's gonna be look like, but that's probably gonna be looking really good. So, I'm definitely gonna try to get there for Maeve later on as well. Now, as for the menu, they put in a new login screen. It's basically because of the event. There's also a new landing page scenery, which I'm not entirely sure what this means, but even so. Uh, we got the new event, the new metal music team, replaces the default music team in lobby, last duration of event, but permanently unlocked through Fire Rise of Fury event. So basically, if you buy the music with 100 Abyssal Shards, you'll get it for free forever. Until if you don't buy it, it'll last, last the entire event, so that's good, right? And music teams are now equipable in the account profile, so that's what I was saying before. Daily login and feature page. The featured stone page has undergone a few cosmetics and system improvements, and now contains daily login words. rewards. Players will now claim their login bonus in the featured page, and also be able to see their current weekly progress. So now we can actually see how good we're doing on the daily login, after we already entered, which is the only time where we could see this. As for, there is now new splash art for Barrett, Cassie, Kanes, and Lex. Uh, at least for certain skins, uh, Kanes is uh, the default, but Cassie is the Sunkissed, Lex is the Longbird, the Barrack has for default in Foreman. Then, the Galactic Chest is actually going away as soon as the patch gets in, so you should definitely try to get it. The Champion Furia is gonna get the Iron Maiden and the Golden skins, so this is at level 50, this is a recolor, almost like Khan got it. And as for things going into the Diamond Chest, we got the Thor, Dark Lord, Torvald, Dune Crawler, Cassie, Firecracker, Willow, Medem, Cyrus, and Prosper's Makoa. As for getting out of the diamond chest, Mlock Willow, Clockwork Torvald, Nightbane Cassie, Kingpin, Puck, and Genie Yang. And this will also be the last the last uh, chance you have to get the volcanic. For those who don't know how to get the skin, you have to reach level 30 during the beta. The beta, which technically speaking is until some till day six, which is when the patch will get in. So you better be ready. As for here, they change it a couple of things. Uh, they have a lot of bugs there, but I'm just gonna look at this because it's really fast. Pep now has a reduced evil mojo charge rate. Uh, yes, if I'm not mistaken, this is the ultimate. So yeah, he's gonna have less charge rate. Shaolang has now reduced uh, projectile size for the impaler arrow. And Strix now has increased the scope zoom distance. For those who don't know, in the last patch, a small patch where the, um, the other skin for this skin came out, um, they said that they increased the scope zoom for both Kanessa and Strix. Apparently, that was a lie. It was only for Kanessa, just like I mentioned, because after I saw the patch notes, Strix wasn't there. So now they decided to put it. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe they didn't do it before. Okay. And there's also a small little changes only for console that they fixed. Uh, this is actually good for me and etc. And then there's a lot of bug fixes specifically for certain champions and so on. If you guys want to check that out, the link is going to be in the description. Don't forget to go check it out. And that is all for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I brought you guys some good information about all of this. And basically, I'll see you guys on the next video. Okay? Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys another time. Bye-bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.